Thumbs up for Cardi B from Vegas, the Jamaican DJ among local acts at her October birthday party. I think Cardi B genuinely loves the music. Like she's a fan of the music. She's not afraid for it. Like when we were there, it's like, yo, she hung out with it, she up on stage with it, and it was like, yo, you know, them over there and me over here, so it wasn't a vibe there. So what happened is, she just said, yo, this theme, this a, this a show the world, you know, what our culture is. Somebody else has show the world what our culture is. Somebody else has embraced our culture. It has never been done. You see? It has never been done where somebody, a, a artist may not even need to do it. Come on, it was just a party though. Yeah, but you know what? Look how many record executives were there, how many other artists were there, who she sold that package. You understand? Is this gonna bring in some features with some artists, some proper features? Because she showed the world, say, yo, me not better than them. You see? She up on stage, a vibe will be right through. All of them things here, so, we just think that she's not disingenuous and she real. But I have to remind you, the people who were there aren't putting out the kind of music that, that's running Jamaica right now. Yes, but that means uh, people don't want to hear the authentic dance hall. Our music, you know, that can't steal. The 90s party, them and the 2000s, early 2000s party, them and the bodies party, them and the best and the nicest party, them put loose, them shot. Nobody can take with that from 90s, 80s, 2000s dance hall, early 2000s dance hall. I mean, that's what the youth, them are doing now, people not enjoy it, but they listen more than how them dance. People have internet now, people have phone, people have time to dissect our lyrics now. When me boss, me I deal with punchline and just rhyme. It's I, kill them with the no. So I just rhyme up my verse then. I just say, kin your teeth, I make me see it, you show from your band, so you never do it, nothing make no sense. It just catchy and it just full of melody and you find yourself a dance. If me if you do that now, you have to run me away. You understand me? I say, so the youth, them are doing them things, we in an era now where people are listening more. Them have to do what they do for people listen. I mean, me and you talk about this already. So Cardi B, them, them are listening to Head Zai and them are listening to Matter and them from Dirty Wine, and them are listening to them songs there from a long time. So them not, them not, them not move on. The reggaeton artists, them don't move on. The reggaeton people don't move on. They depend on the same them bow um, groove. Them don't move on. We move on. And we've moved on to Trap Hall. Is it a dead end? Everything is a circuit that comes right back around to which part you want it. I just saw it go. We as artists, we, have, we just have to keep creating. Because anytime we stop creating, that is when it becomes a dead end. When General Degree, when Sprague them, when being in them stop record and stop sing music, that is when it becomes a dead end. When Cleve from Steel and Cleve, Tony Kelly them, all of these producers that can make the dance hall where you can dance to and me can dance to. Anytime them say them stop do it, that is when it becomes a dead end. So we just have to keep creating it. I'll come right back around to which part people want to dance. Frozen Lastly, do you think there's going to be a rush in the music industry to get vaccinated come November when people maybe can go to the states which has largely opened up. Stay tuned. Me have a call out the hypocrites then. Just stay tuned. You have a want to bring me back on the program. May I watch them.